Hello YouTube, Slacker Stacker here. Today I went to go see Spencer, my local coin shop owner. And right here I have a few pickups that I made while I was out there. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open up the package here. And bear with me. Got to open up a couple of bags. And you know that Spencer is my friend for constitutional silver fix. But I have a few other little goodies in here that I wanted to show you, other than just regular constitutional silver. And I'm going to save the most interesting one to last. So, as you all know, I have been working on filling up a tube of the Franklin Half Dollars. And I have five dollars face in the Franklin halves, and that should fill the rest of that tube. So let's just see it happen. And everybody's gonna fuss at me for touching the silver and for clanking them together. I know it's coming, but these aren't any crackers, so they're really just for the stack. But there you go, a complete tube. That's one goal down. Alright, so oh, oh. Uh, I missed a couple here. I didn't think that looked right, but here we go. Okay, now we've got a full tube. <laughs> so, while I was out there, I also picked up $2 face in dimes. And, uh, eh, some of them, they're in okay condition, but again, I mean, it's not like they're cracker coins or anything. Uh, got mostly mercury dimes in this one. Uh, I haven't really looked at the dates or anything, but there's nothing like those two quarters I picked out of that last run. Those, that one quarter, the 62, that was a cracker coin, and it is in a blister. And uh, that other Franklin was really nice, so it too, it's separated and put into a blister. But so I've got, I've got these dimes to add to uh, this tube, and like I said, it's all about completing the tubes. Spencer, when I was there, really tried to tempt me with all kinds of coins, and he got me with one. Then you're, you're about to see it. But uh, I didn't stick with all constitutional when I was there. I found a couple of pieces that, you know, I keep hearing about. Everybody's screaming about those Britannias, and everybody's uh, screaming about those Mexican Libertards. So while I was there, I'm going to put these in here. While I was there, here it is. I've got a Britannia. And this one's in very good condition. I even had it in the capsule, so that made me happy. Because I'm running out of capsules to put these things in. But yeah, very nice coin. Uh, says that it is a two pound coin. Uh, so I was happy to get that. That's the Britannia I picked up. And then while I was there, I also picked up a 2000, let's see, I have to find that. Yeah, it's a 2014 Mexican Libertard. And I've always heard about these things, so I finally went ahead and picked one up. This one has just a little bit of toning on the edge, and if, I, if you look at the back, you can barely see it creeping in right here, but it, it's starting to get a little bit of, of color on the edge, but still, it's, it's, a, it's a really pretty coin. And uh, I'm going to have to get a blister. I just don't like these flips. <laughs> I'm sorry. They just don't do anything for me. But uh, eventually I will get a, a capsule to put that one in. And, uh, and this one, <laughs> I've told Mike GPO about this one already. But here is the cracker I picked up. An 1886. I have not found a mint mark on it yet, but it's an 1886 Morgan. And that thing is in really good condition. And it still has a great luster to it. There's a little bit of scratch damage in there, but you know, from coming from 1886, you'd expect a little bit of something. Uh, no point in really having this thing graded or anything or slabbed from. But uh, the back is just almost pristine. There's maybe a one little spot there, maybe one little spot I can see just at the edge of the wing there. But otherwise, it's, I just thought it was a really nice piece. So, uh, I have Dad's coin, and it's also a Morgan, but that's a special coin. I keep it 
you know, special box hidden away. Uh, it's it's a family heirloom, but this one I wanted a Morgan to pull out and and you know show uh, with the rest of the collection. But I was able to pick up that one, and uh, very happy about that. Now let me clear these guys off because while I was there, I found something that was a little bit intriguing. Uh, I'm no expert, but I know a lot of you guys know a lot about like. Uh, vintage silver. I'm not sure this really classifies, but it sure looked old. And what it is, it's a do not tread on me silver bar, one troy ounce of triple nine silver. It's got the little snake on there. And uh, I just thought that was interesting. I, I'd never really seen one before. So if any of, the, of you out there you know, know about this or uh, was this a really a good pickup? You know, should I left it alone? My gut just told me, yeah, I get it, because it looks old. You've never seen it before. It's not like one of these regular sunshine bars or something. So uh, I went ahead and picked it up. Got a pretty good deal on it, I think. Uh, and that's the great thing about going to your local coin shop owner. I mean, there's no waiting on mail, no credit card fees, no shipping and handling and all that stuff. So you really come out better. But please, uh, let me know what you think about this one, because I'm, I'm intrigued by this. Uh, to me, like I said, it just looked old and had to have it. Now, I don't know if it'll happen. Uh, it really depends on circumstances, but uh, again, I talked to Spencer. We've made more arrangements. We talked about what we could do. So I'm hoping sometime later this week, I'll be able to introduce you to the man himself. He's agreed to an interview. Uh, he's agreed to let me film inside the shop. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, he does have a few conditions, you know, which of course I will honor. Uh, but here you go, guys. Gold Rush Mercantile and Trading Company. That's him. That's where Spencer, uh, that's his shop. So I always enjoy going down there. It's always fun talking to the man and coming back with some pretty little tidbits here. So uh, thanks for watching and stack on, my friends.